At Mississippi State University, we are doing some exciting research here looking at the integration of robots with SWAT teams. We are working in the Social Therapeutic and Robotic Systems Lab. It's called the STARS Lab. The common thread in the research areas is human-robot interaction, so how people are going to respond to robotic technology. And I have focused that more in the area of law enforcement support and therapy practices. The use of robots with law enforcement is important because their lives are on the line every day. I have been observing trainings with the Starkville City Police Department. They've been very generous in allowing us to interact with them on a regular basis and to observe their trainings to get this inside access. The research has been going on since 2011. We've actively integrated the robot since 2013. Today is going to be another one of our monthly trainings. It will be a scenario where we have one active shooter in the building. The student is carrying a long gun. There are two possible hostages. We don't know exactly where they're at. We suspect the student is in the second floor somewhere hiding. Cindy, do we have any other information on the active shooter himself? Uh, the shooter is white male, dark hair, medium build. We'll be integrating the robot in first. The robot will be out in front providing intel to all of you. The scenario starts with them in the first floor area of this building, traversing up a stairwell and then meet up with the robot. Once the robot is in place, the robot is out in front of the team. The robot has multiple video cameras on it and we send it out uh, in front of the team. It then turns, sends the video back to a wristband that I'm wearing and at that point I'm able to see firsthand knowledge of what's going on in front of us. So the robot goes first into the room and is able to observe who is in the room or what possible threats are in the room. Seeing the video and getting this information allows us then to make entry into the room and uh, safely apprehend the suspect and, and take care of the hostages. This robot being utilized properly will save lives, 100%. This research is important because it really shows the way that an autonomous robot can be integrated into a very precise tactical team and how a robot can be used to help humans in a very dangerous setting. At this training, we controlled the robot using this joystick. In the future, we plan to use an Android device to control the robot instead, and eventually we hope to move the robot to be fully autonomous. We are continually working on improving the quality of the robot. We've added sensors to it. We've added distractionary devices such as LED light systems. We've added sound systems. We are working on a two-way audio system so that we can use it for hostage negotiations and so that we can maybe even prevent having to have a SWAT team go into the situation. Within one to two years, we hope to have them widely available. This research has been funded in part by the Army Research Laboratory's Human Research and Engineering Directorate, and so they want to be able to support this in the hopes that when we field test these with law enforcement officers that it will transfer and be applicable to military tactical teams. This research has been an investment of heart and soul basically for our students and for me. We started out where we didn't have any funding for this, but it was something we were passionate about. We have devoted our time to building this program and to working with the law enforcement officers to make this something that can be beneficial to law enforcement across the country.